Hey guys, uh, what's happening? Um, I'm here to talk about the iFlight Zing motors. Um, I just want to talk about a, a, a post review essentially of the past uh, year of the Zing motors. So I have had one set of Zing motors and they were the 2207 2450 KV motors. Um, and I've been running on a 4S the entire time. They have held up through everything that I've put it through so far. Um, I've been to a couple of bandos now, uh, mainly mainly park flying and like parking lot flying, like at a, a concrete asphalt. So I crash a lot on, as, uh, you know, a, a straight concrete, um, running into benches, things like that, as you see behind me. broken gopros constantly with it and the i still have the original set of zing 2207 motors that uh since then with last march as it's right here you can see it these are the motors i've been running the entire time uh the you know colorful ones uh they're pretty sweet looking um and they have outlasted uh let me see two reverbs a couple get uh, frames uh, a couple i it, it, they've got been through i think almost eight frames those same set of motors um and also you can see the look at the splintering on the on the source source one and they still i have no vibrations in in the motors at all or uh this frame is the only one that's been lasting me now actually um and recently um on well, a recently it's been a few months now my i got a, a set of 2306 2450 kv motors um and i've had them since I believe October is October, November. So it's been, it hasn't been as long, but it's been about five, six months or so. And they have also survived. And I think I've gotten through worse crashes actually in, in the past few months with those than the, the, um, 2207 motors, which are these also the camo pattern ones, as you can see there, um, really sweet looking motors, uh, really light. These I believe are a motor of 30 grams a piece. And the 2207 is a 32, 33 grams a piece. Um, and but o overall these motors have been going through everything that I've, I've put it through so i've you know like i said crashing trees uh like like crazy asphalt um i i can't complain about durability i don't know if anyone else has had problems with them but so far i haven't heard anyone say that these motors are not durable um because you know they they are the uh the night the huge bearings the nine mil nine by four bearings so they just they hold up i have still haven't changed these bearings in these motors so I probably should. Let me see if I find one so you hear it. Uh, I know a couple of these are a little janky. Uh, they're actually, it's kind of just the mornings. Of oh, I don't know if you can hear that. I don't know if you can hear this. It's really, you probably can't tell, but it's it's really like almost sounds ratchety. Like you can tell the bearings probably going out, but I get no vibrations in my video. I have no oscillations, nothing. They just, they keep running. So, so far these motors have been awesome. Um, and I, as far as power and everything else in the motors, I ran other motors, um, they, they feel the same. Like I haven't felt any other motors in the same KV range, I would say, that feel the same. I have, um, other than that, uh, power is good, everything else is good. Um, the, the one thing that I think that outstands everything else is, like I said, durability. Now, I don't think most of the motors can really partake to this uh, at the moment. Um, there are a lot of motors coming out, but I have been perfectly happy with these. Um, they also do have a Zing uh, E series now. Uh, they've had it for a while. My buddy has had them for quite some time now, actually. Uh, the only difference in those is the bells are a little heavier. Um, I believe the standard is the same. So it, but they the same power in those, no difference in them. But the the main difference is that they're heavier, and you know I would assume probably not as durable because these are titanium shafts. The other ones I believe are just normal steel shafts. So not that you can bend steel, but. I'd imagine those would go before these would go as well. But for, I think, 13 or 14 bucks a motor on the Zing E compared to 19 20 a motor on these, that's a pretty good price difference that you could look into if you wanted to save a little bit of money on that. Um, and so if you want the power of it and the, and the performance you, that the Zing regular series get, you could probably go with the E's and be fine if you don't crash a lot. But if you crash, I would assume they probably wouldn't hold, hold up as well. But I honestly, I can't say because he, my friend, also does not crash often. So... He, uh, I couldn't really tell you on endurance on, on those motors themselves, but so um, all in all, 
uh, really just a quick review on them you know i didn't want to go too in depth if you guys have questions about it you know go ahead and put it in the, bo the comments and i'll answer them as need be but just, just know that these motors so far hold up uh, exceptionally well compared to uh, other motors that i've bent like uh, right away you know they got messed up right away bearings or shafts unbalanced that's the main thing is unbalanced most motors get unbalanced very quickly the I, honestly i don't notice it so but oh and for the most part i have been running as you can see fx s3 props that's the majority of the time i think i'd say i've been running with them i do i do run s4s and s5s with them as well um and other than that i've run i think the t motor the 51 43 i believe they are the little thin skinny props those run well with them i've never ran like say cyclone 50 46 is like the big heavy like five six grand props i know they can take them because it's the lower kv i just don't run that so i mean maybe someone else you can talk to someone else about that but i'm sure they'll pull their weight on that end so um but yeah so other than that if you guys have any questions like i said go ahead and put it in the comments below and I'll, I'll be more than happy to answer that um but yeah so thanks for staying around guys for this little quick review on the zing uh, zing uh, motors so all right have a good day guys later